So we're on the way to Santa Pod. From, if you're sounding a bit funny, I've got a humbug in my mouth. I like to have sweets when I drive, so it's rush hour now where we live. It's not that busy, but this is as bad and busy as it gets, unless there's problems on the road. So we're driving through Chippenham at the minute. This is called Bumpers Farm Roundabout. This is like a big industrial area. Because I'm left hand drive, I actually hang back a little bit so I can see the roundabout. I think we can go now because we've got another lorry by the side of us. Yeah, so we're all good to go. Yeah, so we're coming up through Chippenham at the minute and we're going to head down the M4 and then we're going to go A34 up the M40 for one junction, then A43 across to past Silverstone, then we go on the M1 for one junction and then we get on the 45 all the way to Santa Pod. That's how we get there. So three hours after leaving home, we have arrived here at Santa Pod for European finals. What are you doing? There's a caravan in front, don't you? I know, we've got to wait. Come on, drive over it. No. Swampy loves caravans. And commentator's daughter's class. So everybody is already here by the looks of it. There's a lot of people camping, but this is Thursday. So we're doing Friday, Saturday and Sunday because we've got all the big teams from Europe coming over, trying to win their championships. So it's going to be a lot of drag racing in this video. Day one here at Euro Finals. We're just building the truck up. When we build the truck up, we always check the planet trees. And this one was a little bit low because it leaks a little bit of oil. So we're putting in Lucas hub oil because that's what it is. It's a hub. What? You don't say! So we've got the back wheels on, just got to put the front on, and then we can do our normal checks and get ready for the show first thing this afternoon. Yeah, when we go to some of the UK Monster Truck Nationals, it's the one show I really, really pull out all the stops at. But we were away in Yarmouth doing this show last week. And if anybody follows your vlog, and if they don't, they really should. Swamp Thing 4 before on YouTube, an amazing channel. Gives you all the insight into the shows, what happens behind the scenes. But you, you were a bit naughty last week, Tony. I've got to say, I wasn't a happy man. No, no, so if you haven't seen what we do, so Russ actually, you, you borrowed your daughter's car to come to the show because your one had a problem. And I thought it'd be really funny if I'm in the show, I knocked off the wing mirror with a monster truck. 
and I didn't just knock off the wing mirror, I knocked off the whole of the side of the car by mistake. <laughs> you did. Which means more or less the car was written off. I mean, bless her, it wasn't an expensive car. Tony said, I'm going to have to replace it. What did you do at the end of the show? I wrecked the whole car, so I rolled it over and then jumped on it with a monster truck and then got your daughter a new car. <laughs> Honestly, you just watch it on the vlog. Unbelievable stuff. I was absolutely stunned. Um, but someone else that's um, used to actually wrecking things at the moment <laughs> is this man, because Gary, people think monster trucks are indestructible. They're not. This one has had a lot done to it this year. New engine, ready for the show three weeks ago. And then what did you do? Um, yeah, I broke most of the front. Literally, front suspension gave up on a, on a landing. I come in a little bit nose first. <laughs> snapped the steering arm, bent the uh, bottom radius arm, uh, snapped the prop in half, bent the prop guard. There was a lot of damage. But like you say, people assume monster trucks are indestructible, and when one th little thing goes, it does a lot of damage. In fact, that could have been a lot worse. We actually got lucky that the suspension was okay. Um, that thing is really expensive if we start breaking that. Absolutely. Just finished the first show of the day. It's done an alternate about. I thought I got to the end of these. I haven't had an alternate about come up for a while. Um, but yeah, so it just it came off in the donut, so it wasn't a big issue. We're gonna put a new one of them on it. Just gotta do the rest of the trucks down the thing. Everything is running down the drag strip. We've got a few oil downs and Terry and Lee have been having to go over there and do some cover, but I think that first show went really well. Just going to do some more of the same for part two and then we've got a really busy day tomorrow here at Santa Pod. Gary what happened in that show? Um, yeah it's the first show of the weekend so we've kind of started taking it easy but um, yeah um, we noticed at the end that my auxiliary belt that powers all my steering for the hydraulic steering front and back um, it started eating itself so there was still some on there so I still had steering okay but all of this here is, is all chewed up so I've had to take fuel pump uh, belt off so I can pull all this out and then when I got that, I've got a new one to put on to replace this this shredded one. But as far as failures go, we'll take we'll take this one every time. It's a nice, easy fix. So um, yeah, ready to go out for the next show. What's this VIP area? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah you're not allowed. We're not allowed in. We've been roped off. Just for VIP. Yeah. For VIPs. Not oh. peas. It's for VIPs. <laughs> not, not what are you eating there then? This is my healthy diet: Nutella, banana, and strawberries. Oh, very nice. I'm keeping some with Lucas Oil. Ah, oh, very good on the sponsorship there. I know.
around the arena. Are you ready? <laughs> Terry Grant and a car full of people. We're going two wheeling. Here we go. <laughs> he's up, he's up. Oh, he's got it. In one. Look at this. And look who's coming out the passenger window. It's only Lee Bowers. There's Swamp Thing, all clear, thank you Claire. And that's done as well. Check out this. Now, I don't know if the camera will yeah, even appreciate how loud it is, but it's just starting up now. Let's get some action. After the racing, this is where all the hard work starts. Now they take apart the dragsters and then they have to service the engine. And when I say service the engine, they strip it to a bare block and then rebuild it. So let's have a look at what they're doing.
Okay, so it's day two here at Santa Pod, and that was show one. Um, we had a hard landing with the monster truck. And it is punch of the tire. Here's me saying that Tony Dixon has got the best job in the world. Well, clearly not at this moment in time when he's having to change a wheel in 37 degree heat. It's sweltering. I just hope he can get it ready before the next show. We <laughs> have. For the record, I used to be a commercial tire fitter many years ago. Wow. So, yeah, on the side of motorways, lying under wagons, yeah. Risking me life. Now I'm risking me life for swamp thing. Thank you. So we've been inside the tyre, we put a patch inside the tyre, we put compound, rubber compound in the split, and then we're reinflating the tyre. But the problem we have with the tyre, I'm pretty sure Lucas all this isn't on the list of things it fixes, it actually helps get a tyre. So what I've done is in the gap where the air was coming out, I've whacked, put in red and tacky. So now it's just squeezing it out and we're putting it back into the pot. Because we're using this to fill the gap to make sure that the tyre would go onto the bead. So Lucas Oil, thank you once again for helping something out. <laughs> Over the car, so no, 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 no. Hey, you guys can have a go in this. Go and treat yourselves. Mini monster truck mania and mini swamp thing. That is just incredible. Day three here at Santa Pod European Finals. Um, had a tiring day yesterday, changing tyres. So we fitted a new tyre, well, a second-hand tyre from uh, from Podzilla. So they had a spare Goodyear 66-inch uh, tyre, which is a six-ply tyre, which is what I use. So we fitted that yesterday, and the heat is on again today. Gary, what are you doing in there? Trying to find a fuse. Trying to find a what? Fuse. Why do you need a fuse for? Terry's car has melted a fuse, so yeah. You make do and mend as always, so we just trying to rob one out of a car and uh, get him going for the next show. <laughs> Dare I say it, 50 years old, we give him a cheer and wish him happy birthday! Matt, you are very special to us. You've looked after your brother with uh, Swamp Thing for many, many years as crew chief. You've come as a day off today, but you didn't think you're going to be out here getting run over. Uh, no, I was kind of hoping to avoid something like that, but uh, I'm sure Terry will get his own back to the years that I've worked with him. Absolutely, right. Don't forget, you must stand still. Are you happy? I'm going to get out of the way. Family show. No, we're not doing that. Right, okay. Right, no, 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 you can't do it. Right, I thought you meant you brought it in. Oh, you! You're joking. Tell me when I'm level with the first, the first person. This is getting. No, no, Siri. 
this is not in the script. I'm being serious now. Nobody's told me about this. This is really... Are you all right? Here, here. Here. Don't watch this bit. Lock the door. Yeah. Right, OK, come forward then. Okay, so we're here and got my crew chief, my big brother has turned up for today. He's 50 years old, happy birthday! Harry Grant has already picked on him. So, what did he do? Uh, he decided to do some uh, 360s in his legend around us, but to spice it up with a member of the public, he put a mask on, balaclava, so he couldn't see anything, yeah. and then proceeded to run over my feet, yeah. twice. <laughs> Result. <laughs> So yes, we've just had the jet car go down and we're now going to go two-wheeling. So here we go, room in the back. Good to see you, Matt. Happy birthday. Room in the back seat. No room. Terry, you can't. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He just said I'm not going to fit in there. He's six foot four. He's not going to fit in Oh, no, Terry! Mind his knee, mind his knee. And his head. No, please. He's not going to fit. He's not. Whoa! I'm not getting involved with this. Is he all right? It was. Look at him. I was going to say, are his fingers all right? Look at him. He's got his hands stuck at the back window. This is your brother. You're allowing them to do this to your brother. And is he crew chief for uh, Swamp Thing today? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, so I hope you don't know him too much. Here we go in three, two, one, two wheel it. And look who's coming out of the window. Ladies and gentlemen, they deserve your applause and appreciation. Mr. Terry Grant and Mr. Lee Bowers. Right, park it up in the pits and then we can get the monster trucks out. Is he all right? Let's just check. He's all right. Yeah, he's okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. There we go. <laughs>
Angela is currently in the 350 with Terry Grant. We're supposed to go out and do our show. Now, I'm not sure because there's, there's no public really here anymore. As you would imagine, I don't think you would want to stand out in this, especially not me. That's why I'm cheating and I'm a nausea track. I'm not sure if we're going to do the last show. Um, obviously, if we do, 
you'll see it in the video. If you don't, then we haven't done it. <laughs> so, so these are some people on the bank leaving. Uh, let me just turn the camera around one second. So, granted, we didn't have many people watching the show. They're watching the Dranksters, but there's a lot more people here five minutes ago than they are now. And everyone's leave, queuing to leave. Everyone's just trying to get back to their motorhomes, cars, monster trucks, me, and the monster truck. <laughs> We're all trying to escape out of the rain. I don't normally speak a lot on the vlog, so I don't normally have a lot to say. But at the minute, I'm having a good time in here, and everyone else is getting wet, and it's, and it's very funny. Oh, here you go, look, there's Dad Cam. You can just see the lower half of him. You can see the name Tony Dixon, just in case he forgot who he was. It's not written on his underpants, but instead on his fire suits. That's Donna, arena manager. She is currently a man uh, managing the wettest arena. So there's dad. Behind there, that's probably mum. Or that would be, no, that is mum. Matt is here today, Tony's brother, my uncle. That's Matt. Oh, that's Max from Kevin's camp. There's Lee. It is raining, but as you can see, it's not raining nowhere near as hard as it was a minute ago. But if you have a take a quick look at the arena, I know it's got water on the lens, but you can't deal with it. It's like a mirror. The whole arena, oh, hang on a minute. Let's just look down here. Look, this is down, right down the monster truck. Look at the puddle. You can see the reflection in, in the puddle. It is a plan of action. As you can see, I'm standing next to the cars. Uh, the, elect uh, the wind and the rain have taken out the speakers, so there's going to be no commentary from the wonderful Russ. He's standing over there in the far distance, my zoom will get him. There he is. No commentary from him, but we're going to use the monsters. Today it was about 30 degrees, and in the past 20 minutes, I'm not sure what temperature it is, haven't looked, but I'll tell you what, I have got goosebumps. <laughs> the wind has picked up and the temperature has felt like it's dropped, but it probably hasn't. Just how the British weather works sometimes. Bit of a stereotype, but it's true. Here they go. The monster trucks are going to start. Yep. Wow. Pods are starting up. Doing the RRI check. There you go. We've already done ours. You wouldn't have seen it because I accidentally stopped recording for a brief second and I missed it. Oops. Were you? Did I get you wet? Almost. What was that about? <laughs> Terry's been teaching me well. Yeah, I was about to update the vlog about Terry, but luckily he's already done before you guys came on. It was really close. Really, really slippy out there. That was pretty, pretty hairy. I've never seen Dad do a cyclone like that before. Yeah. Anyway. That was uh, amazing. I was drifting in all sorts. I know. It was completely weird how 20 minutes affects the whole show. Yeah. It's insane. Hey ho. Well, that will be probably the end of the vlog. Um, thank you guys for joining. I'll get probably Dad to sign off properly, but yeah, cool. See ya! Magic! Magic! I can't do that. I can't do that. To you, and then just push it. Can I get to the top and went, oh, by the way, to you, and just push it over. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. You're in the bad books now. Go and get magic hook. Magic hook. Magic gadget. Magic hook gets the strap. Yippee. So he's climbing over.
<laughs> you get it wrong. Yeah, every time you forget. This time we forgot the flagpole and we bent it again. That's the third flagpole this year. Gotta remember next time. Straight. I'm just pushing it. You're just pushing it. You weren't caring where you was going. <laughs> <laughs> Is it heavy? It's very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. Big muscles. Small person. This time we're going to go for a F1 styled inspired push in. In three, two, one. <laughs> wow, that was fast. It was almost like it weren't sped up. <laughs> All finished for Santa Pod's European finals. They're on the way home, just gone past Silverstone. It looks nice and sunny now. Wow, didn't that change? That last, I don't know, 20 minutes before we was meant to go out, it absolutely threw it down. But on the way home now, uh, next show we're off to is Truckfest Northwest at uh, Nutsford. Uh, so yeah, we're going back up, up north for the next video. So I hope to see you on that one. Until then, Bye-bye. Just to know